This is a quick overview and tutorial for the Getting Things Done database for Microsoft Access. This is a free download from SpreadsheetCity.com. I recommend that you watch this tutorial full screen because we're going to be working in the program and I want you to be able to see the screen. Basically, this is a Getting Things Done database program based on David Allen's Getting Things Done system. It is one potential application, one potential implementation of the system. You can modify the database and the worksheet in any way that you like. It's very easy to do. This is just one of the templates that are included with the worksheet manager and I hope that you'll download this free program today. Here is the Getting Things Done worksheet. I've opened it up. Uh, in order to create this database, all you have to do is open it from a template. You click Select Template, click on Getting Things Done, and click Open. And that's it. You'll see this screen. I've already created this template for the uh, demonstration. And the way I would get back to it would be to click Open. Um, next time I came in to use the program, um, I have the fields here are X and P. When X is something is completed, I check it off. It says in the bottom left hand corner, check if this task has been completed. If it is a priority task, I then check this box to indicate that this is a priority. Uh, category is a field that I have added in on my own. It's really not a part of David Allen's system, but what it is is I like to uh, categorize the work that I do. Um, let's say I want to uh, advertise. So the category is, is advertising and I want to promote the GTD database. My next action is to write an article. And the status is backlog. I'm not waiting on anybody else to help me to get this task done, although I could put that information in here. And I'm going to give myself a due date of Tuesday. Okay, so now when as soon as you enter data into a, a drop down box, that whatever you type in automatically goes into the box. Okay, uh, the due dates are uh, all, all come from a pop out calendar projects also a drop down okay and if you want to add new fields in remove fields from the database you click on modify design you can add check boxes drop down boxes date fields and so forth it's very easy to change this database and you can also create new databases for yourself you can create dozens hundreds of databases using this program and manage them very easily you'll just open them from the file open dialog box once again this is a free download from spreadsheetcity.com and i hope that you'll download this software today thank you